What is good, Ignition? It's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, we're going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock, what you should be looking out for the future. I'm also going to break down the two main squeeze scenarios for AMC and talk about when on earth this thing may end up squeezing, what could be the main triggers for it, at least as of right now, and some very important things you should really know that could play a big role in this potential short squeeze. Now, before I break anything down about AMC, before I talk about the data and what's going on with the share price, I do have to mention a couple of things before starting. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner don't take any of this as financial advice whatsoever and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this it not only benefits me it benefits the entire ape community as a whole and the last things if you guys can please check out the mumu link down below and in the description if you sign up for mumu the link down below and deposit a hundred dollars into the account you're guaranteed up to 15 free stocks each worth up to two thousand dollars the best part is any of these 15 free stocks could be a free amc share a free tesla share or a mix of all of them it's a limited time offer the offer ends in just two days check it out before they run out with that sort of the way let's get on with the video so looking at amc we know this thing has that squeeze potential we've been talking about this for a while but i want to now break down and answer the question or at least give you some insights about the question would amc squeeze during the market crash or will it take a market recovery to see this thing squeeze well it's important to note and let me actually hide all these indicators and make this clear amc all right, there have been instances where it acted like a negative beta stock. It had those big run-ups during big days where the market was red. However, on most days, if you actually compare it to like SPY, and that's what I want to do in, right, like right now. If you compare it to SPY, let me actually pull these up side by side. So give me one second. You will notice that when the SPY has those big runs, AMC has been following it. At least for the past like year and a half. Let me just show you this. And why on earth is this significant? Well, this could be indicative of AMC either being manipulated to look like, like it's a positive beta stock, whether that's true or not, or AMC actually being more of a positive beta stock for this point on because of the manipulation that was really affecting it and how it moves with the market. So notice how AMC went to its like really high value. This was like back in mid-2021. SPY went to its high value. This was actually, at this time, SPY was actually kind of like dropping a bit at the same time. And that's where the whole negative beta notion came out from. But if you look at it at AMC like very recently, and this is like SPY recently, they've been very similar. From the beginning of the year for AMC starting to come down just as SPY did, getting that rally in March, just like how AMC got that March rally. Then it came down, just like how SPY came down for the big crash that happened in June, followed by a big bounce that happened in August, just like how AMC got that big bounce in August, and then they both came down almost together, and now they're both starting to show some signs of life. So there are lots of similarities. This is, it's as very clear that this is going on, but the question is, if SPY keeps dropping down, will eventually that cause AMC to squeeze, or will AMC only squeeze during a market recovery? And I believe those are the two main possibilities that could actually play out during this squeeze play. So a more short-term possibility would be the market crash triggering, triggering it. A more long-term would be the market recovery triggering it. So let's talk about the first possibility. Both of these are very possible, by the way. It could be either one of these in my opinion. But let's talk about the squeeze during a crash. What happens during a crash? What happens during these crashes is the hedge funds have these particular requirements they have to meet all the time when it comes to them borrowing the money that they are borrowing, borrowing shares from the prime brokers, trying to pull out all of these shares, whether they're rehypothecated or not, from the DTC's vault or the DTCC. And then when doing that, what happens is they're, they're not always ready to like meet these requirements. So during a market crash, when banks are struggling, the banks are going to have stricter uh, requirements for the shorts. This will cause their collateral, which they used to short stocks like AMC, to dry up a lot. That's why there was a lot of talks about the executive orders, which could have worked out, but hedge funds found a, a way around it. So with that said, hedge fund collateral evaporating could be a big trigger for a potential short squeeze for AMC. Now, another theory I have about this which is possible i'm not telling you to like count on this i'm not promising this will happen it would be adam aaron 
something he could do that may cause us to squeeze way sooner. And what is that? Well, what I'm starting to see is the market is showing some signs of strength. We might see a small rally approaching the midterm elections for like a week or two. Remember what happens historically. The market has a tendency, and we can even go as far as back like for many months. You will see the market tends to drop during years like this. We get a push up in like March, a bit of a drop after, another push up followed by a big crash around June time, very similar to what happened this year. Then we get a slight push up during these months. In August, as we approach the month of August, the market tends to get a bit of a rally. It comes down, small push up in September, followed by a big crash, which is what we saw. And as of right now, we've been like in this zone right here, kind of like down here. So maybe we might see a slight rally approaching midterms because it would be a lot better for, you know, the parties that want to end up winning, the incumbent parties. So that's a possibility that could end up playing out. So let's just say the market does get a small rally. SPY maybe pushes up to 380. If we break above that, we could go to 400. It would be, it would be pretty tricky. I wouldn't rule it out just yet. However, if we do get a slight rally and we see SPY hit like $400, AMC could push to like the $10 range. Very possible. And now I'm wondering, okay, what if both AMC and APE start to push? What if like APE ends up hitting like five or six bucks a share and AMC is at like $10? Adam Aaron might come out and he might announce a share offering for Ape, right? Because AMC can't dilute AMC. They have to dilute Ape. And if they end up raising, you know, who knows how much money, $500 million, a billion dollars to start paying off their debt, that is going to be huge. The buying pressure that comes from these new equity units could be translated into AMC and maybe cause a big run-up. There are lots of people that talk about AMC having a squeeze very soon. It's a possibility. I wouldn't rule it out whatsoever. So what I'm trying to say is, even if the market crashes, if this is the case and we do see Ape get diluted and AMC does end up getting that squeeze, that would be a very good sign for AMC. And that could be the big trigger, the temporary rally that we are getting before the big crash. That could be the trigger during this like bear market that could cause the squeeze as well. Now, if that's not the case, let's go over another possibility, which I know a lot of people are not like ready for. Some people are ready for it. That is AMC continuing to drop and not recovering until the market does. Because like I mentioned, Compared to SPY, AMC has been getting those big runs during those big rallies that SPY has had. When the SPY tends to drop, AMC has been dropping. It's been doing this for the past like two years, year and a half. I mean, AMC is acting like a positive beta stock almost every day. Is it every single day? No, there are going to be some days where a little bit different, but on most days, almost every day. Yes, AMC has been acting this way. So some people also believe that for AMC to squeeze, it might not happen until the market recovers, which could take a couple of months. All right? It may take like another five, six months. Very possible. It could take maybe four months. It really depends on when the Fed decides to, to pivot, which means they're going to transition into quantitative easing. During that time frame, we are going to have a better understanding of what ends up playing out. My point is, if the SPY starts recovering, because the SPY is like at 340, let's just say as we approach next year, SPY starts to recover to the 400s then spy gets a big bull rally and the market shifts because of the fed shifting their policies if that happens there is a possibility amc is going to have a big run-up and during the big run-up fomo let me just point this out fomo guys it's not dead fomo could happen more fomo followed by potential gamma squeeze the market wide squeeze is going to be support for this you have to remember that because the market has a tendency of moving very collectively so the market pushing up will help amc push up in that case we can get some gamma in there which causes the hedge funds to have to not hedge funds or market makers to hedge their positions by buying back more of the shares leading to more fomo and potentially shorts covering leading to a massive short squeeze and amc running like crazy 
how high can AMC go? We don't truly know, but it does have the potential to squeeze to many hundreds, if not thousands of dollars a share. Very, very possible, guys. It's possible. But I don't want to promise any particular numbers. I do believe that $1,000 a share, for instance, is a possibility, but I wouldn't necessarily, at least in my personal opinion, my my circumstances are different for, from everyone's. I wouldn't just like bag hold all my shares and just try to load all of them out or like try to sell them all at just one particular value. It's more efficient and more intelligent to sell on the way up during a squeeze because you could secure a lot more profits. And that's not financial advice, by the way. But I wanted to make that as clear as possible, guys. So thank you all for listening. I hope I open some more eyes uh, as to what's going on with AMC and why either one of these are equally likely in my opinion. It really depends on so many factors and I'm prepared for anything because I know two things. All right. If AMC squeezes immediately, that's great. A lot of people are going to make lots of money. But if this AMC play does not squeeze immediately, let's just say it takes, I don't know, another six months to squeeze. I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that because... If AMC stays at these low values, AMC's in the sixes, the sevens for longer, I'll be buying more for cheap, more and more and more so that by the time it does squeeze, by the time it gets the big run up, we'll be ready to print all that, you know, all those returns. So thank you all for listening. The the squeeze is still on the table. Nothing has changed. I want to just make this as clear as possible. There are two main possibilities in my eyes and you have to be prepared for anything. All right. Thank you guys. Enjoy your weekend and I'll see you guys in the next one. AMC to the moon because the long-term future is bright and peace out.